Today, we are going to describe DFSMS Cloud Data Manager, or CDM for short. CDM will ease your journey to the cloud by making it easy to remigrate large amounts of data that are now on HSM ML2 tape and move them to cloud storage. After that remigration, the datasets will retain the original dataset creation and migration dates saved for the ML2 datasets. CDM lets you select datasets migrated to ML2 before a specific date or datasets on underused tape volumes. Let's pick datasets migrated before 2010. CDM will call HSM to recall the datasets to intermediate disk storage and then do an HSM migrate to move these datasets to the cloud. Let's have a brief look at what you will see when you use CDM. CDM has an ISPF interface to start all its functions and to view the results. When setting up CDM, your storage administrator will need to define an SMS storage group and storage class to be used only by CDM. CDM will call HSM to recall datasets to this storage group and then call HSM again to migrate datasets from the storage group to the cloud. Using a separate storage group and class avoids CDM's use of HSM from interfering with other HSM activity on your system. The first thing you will do will be to specify selection criteria for datasets you want to migrate. You can select by how full the ML2 tape volumes are or by the date that datasets were migrated to ML2. Call this procedure a simulation, and the simulation will select a set of datasets that we call a migration group. Later on, this is the group of datasets that will be migrated by a single migration job. CDM builds a batch job to query your HSM control datasets to find datasets that meet your specification. In this example, we want datasets migrated to ML2 before January 1st, 2022, and want to limit the number of data sets selected to four, just for practice. CDM will find the data sets that match the criteria and save that list of data sets as the migration group, using the group name you use when creating the simulation job. The dialog panel will display a list of data sets selected for the migration group. When you are satisfied with the list of selected datasets, not too many, not too few, you can then proceed to set up a migration job for that migration group. CDM has several pacing parameters to avoid having an adverse effect on other HSM tasks that may be running on your production system. CDM will recall datasets in batches and wait between each batch. Normally, CDM will recall all the requested datasets and then remigrate them to the cloud. But if your intermediate storage usage gets higher than the threshold you specify here, CDM will pause its recalls, start migrating datasets from disk to cloud, and then continue issuing recall requests. Here is the batch migration job built by the dialog, which you can submit to run or save to run later. All of the CDM batch jobs and log files are written to the CDM control dataset, which is a PDSE library. You can monitor the status of a running CDM migration job using the ISPF interface. You can also issue a status command to the system console. The migration job finishes when all the datasets have been recalled and a final migrate command is issued you can see a formatted version of the migration log using the ISPF dialog. You might view this panel before all the migrates have been satisfied, in which case you will see the current volume for some datasets as the intermediate disk volume. You can refresh this display until you see all datasets in the cloud. And that concludes our brief look at using Cloud Data Manager.